Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now many of you, as well as myself, uh, often fight with our friends and of course we see everyone else that's fighting in the world, in our class, in our families and things like that. And it's quite normal for animals and not only animals but all living things to fight. And not only animals, but again, plants as well. They're always fighting with something against evolution, but more specifically, they're always fighting with germs and bacteria and other diseases that we often don't really think about. So there is a disease that threatens or puts in danger bananas, okay? So bananas are in danger right now. Bananas, the world's most popular fruit, yeah, are facing a very serious or dangerous threat. Scientists said a new form, a new kind of Panama disease, Panama is a Central American country, could wipe out or just kill most of the global banana supply. So this bad disease, well not really bad, but he's doing his job really, this disease can wipe out or just get rid of or extinct all bananas in the world. Panama disease is caused by a type of fungus. A fungus, well the most common fungus that we know is a mushroom or when we have fruit and we leave it there for a very long time, fungus will grow. These weird sort of fuzzy looking plant type things, living organisms uh, that lives in the soil. The disease attacks the potassium rich fruit, turning it or changing it black and making it inedible, something that we cannot eat. This disease originated, it was originally from Central America and quickly spread to most of the world's banana plantations in 1950. Uh, spread here means the disease was getting bigger and it's going to more and more bananas. Sorry. So if I'm sick, and I am touching many people, that many people will get sick and more people and more people will get sick, sick, sick. It just keeps spreading and spreading. Um, it will spread to most of the world's banana plantations farms in the 1950s. Due to this, because of this, the Gros Michel, which was a spot, uh, popular type of banana until the 1950s, was declared or announced, publicly announced, commercially extinct. So this very popular kind of banana, there's hundreds of different kinds of bananas and this special kind that was very big and delicious, it was no more, it was extinct, commercially extinct, meaning the businesses, they cannot sell it anymore, we cannot grow it uh, in large amounts anymore. The banana industry favored or they liked the Cavendish banana type, which was considered immune to the disease. They, so there's a different kind of banana type and they considered or they thought that it was immune. Immune means protected from the disease. So we can say bears are immune to the cold weather because they have so much fur and um, fish are immune to drowning in the water because they are protected in the water. So they thought it was immune, they thought it was protected. It was quickly adopted by banana growers around the world. Uh, many banana growers were quickly using this banana, oh it's protected from the disease, it's a healthy banana, we'll use it, we'll adopt it, we'll use it as our own. However, now it is also threatened by a disease known as Tropical 4 Race 4. So again, these plants are always in a war. They want to beat the disease, but the diseases and germs, they evolve and it's you know, this goes on for millions of years, they just keep fighting with each other. Scientists first discovered or found the new form of Panama disease caused by TR4 in Taiwan. So this is a very serious thing here. It's a disease that starts in a, one country, but this disease can somehow travel across the sh well, waters, across the sea, into a totally different country around the world. So it can spread more quickly than we think. 
The disease spread to the Middle East and Africa. It's going global. It has already appeared or shown up uh, in South America, which produces 95% of the world's bananas. So again, these bananas are constantly in danger. We are making new bananas, but then the germs will quickly follow and it's a never ending struggle, a never ending fight. Okay, we have three key review questions here. A, how does the Panama disease affect bananas? How does it change bananas? Pan Panama disease attacks bananas, blank them black, and making them inedible, making them so that we cannot eat it. So something, if something is yellow and we want to change it to black or brown, or we want, if something is edible, we can eat it, but we want to change it to inedible, we say we turn it. So a caterpillar will turn into a, a butterfly, a tadpole will turn into a frog, it will change into a frog. B. Why the Gros Michel variety, the Gros Michel variety, the, a popular kind of banana, which was popular, was, was a popular banana type, become extinct? Why did it disappear? Why did it get sick and all of it die? The Gros Michel bananas became extinct because Panama, the Panama disease quickly blank to most of the world's banana pop, uh, plantations farms in the 1950s. So this disease, it was just in one banana, let's say for example, one farm. And this one disease, it goes to the next farm and it keeps going to the third and fourth and it just keeps going further and further and sort of splitting and getting wider and wider. And we say that it is spreading. In terms of when we're talking about a disease, if a disease spreads like MERS, uh, back in Seoul uh, a couple of months ago. If one person has it, it, we have to be very careful because one person can be two people and then eight people and then it, it can be a very big number very quickly. C. Where is the most recent type, um, you know, the closest one to date type of Panama disease? A new form of Panama disease has blank in South America which produces 95% of the world's bananas. So this disease, we, it, it wasn't shown before. We didn't discover it. Nobody saw it before. Nobody knew about it. But when it suddenly comes out and we can see it, uh, we say it is up here. So every morning, the sun, we cannot see it, but the sun will appear in the morning. And at night, the moon will appear. This disease appeared in South America. Of course, the opposite of appeared would be disappeared, right? Disappeared would be to vanish. Okay, so we have three key terms here that we're gonna review. A, Panama disease, blank, well, is blank by a type of fungus that lives in the soil. So we have the soil, inside the soil, there's many living things. One of them is a type of fungus. It's a sort of organism that loves to eat dead things. It's a decomposer. It likes to eat dead animals and actually poop and things like that. So this sort of organism, it makes this disease. It sort of is the reason for this disease. And it is caused by this, this, uh, this disease is caused by this fungus. So cause is talking about what is the reason behind it? So we can say um, Timmy's bad scores were, were caused by his lack of sleep and because he didn't study and he played too much. All right. Uh, B, the Gros Michel variety, which was a popular banana type until the 1950s, was blank, commercially extinct. So when something goes extinct, it's there's no more of it, all of it is dead. And this special type of mush, uh, sorry, banana, these farmers were paying very close attention to it and they were, as they were dying, the farmers were getting more and more worried. And when the last one finally died, the farmers had to say, well, well we're telling everyone, we're sort of announcing to everyone, hey, uh, this banana is now dead, it's extinct. 
And another way to say announce or to uh, show, tell to other people is to declare. So when you are declaring something, you are sort of saying it so other people can hear you publicly. C, the banana industry, the banana in, uh, businesses like the farmers and the sellers and the supermarkets favored, they liked the Cavendish banana type which was considered blank to the disease. Why did they like it? Because they thought this banana type was protected against this disease. It cannot uh, be affected by this disease. Um, and another way to say uh, cannot be hurt or protected or is safe from is immune. Uh, I gave you the example about bears. So we can say wolves in the wild are immune to the cold because they have all thick fur. They are immune. They are protected against the cold. So to review, caused is saying what is the reason why is something happening. So the disease is caused by the fungus. Uh, why is the disease happening? Because of the fungus. Declared is when you're announcing something to other people. Hey, I'm happy. I'm declaring that. And immune is something, is when we say we are protected against it, we are safe from it. Uh, we can say when we go to the doctor and we get an immune shot, then we are protected against many germs. If, a, if we see a germ, then it will just sort of bounce off us and all of that. All right, so next time you really eat a banana or really any other fruit or vegetable you can think about, we can know that this, but the fruit we're eating is a fighter. It survived all this fighting against germs and disease, and we should really, you know, be thankful for it. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.